me being like the uh, the uh, title, like the fourth son, musical son of Africa Bambada, comes from me uh, collecting records, um, as well as um, I always had admired, you know, uh, as far as Bambada, as far as street um, organization back in you know, when I was a little kid. Um, I come from the Nation of Five Percent. God's nerves, peace of God's peace of nerves. Um, I was making records, you know, uh, you know, back in the, the mid '80s as a young young kid, you know, which lets you know, you know, uh, what we we were desiring to do back in like you know 1984 and all that. You know what I mean? It's like you know, uh, nah, man, you know, we ain't trying to be like fashion, then, man. We got to be different, man. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, me and my my cool Puerto Rican DJ Doc Scratch, you know, we had a little, caught you know, caught a little record deal, and um. The rest is history. And, uh, my, my, uh, my history got reinvented in the early 90s. You know, uh, I went deep into the you know, electronic break beat because uh, you know, I'm, a, I'm an electronic beat boy, you know what I'm saying? Electro funk beat boy. So you know, big up to all the poppers and lockers, big up to like the MZK, you know, all the beat boys and beat girls around the world, yo. Big up. You know, you know. But um, I was always, uh, you know, I grew up in a sound system, you know. Like culture, you know what I mean. So it's like it was like, you know, uh, Caribbean, you know, uh, African American, you know, uh, 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 nigger, Negro, you know what I mean. Uh, uh, um, Baptist church uh, slash uh, we we uh, we saw some cocaine and running some checks and all that. We pimping and all that. So I came through all that and I came from a, a real pimping family. You know that. Um, As one may put it, you know, um, some families is built from a, uh, you know, from this and that. You know, what I'm saying, you know, my family is built from a, you know, a hardworking man by the name of Lewis Hall, my mother's father, and I'm, I'm from the the Bell Clan, you know, which uh, is here down in the South. Matter of fact, speaking of the South, you know, we're we're here. Uh, I can't say we're in Atlanta, Georgia. I'll just say we're in the uh, the, the Chi Nation territory which is here in, uh, in Atlantis, on the beautiful West End, West Side. Um, you know, I didn't ask to be no son of Africa being body. He, he chose me and asked me, we like, you know, I represent, you know, be his fourth son. So me, I, my mind is like, I'm really here to make sure that the breakbeat that I'm following, you know, is connected. Cause I wanted to add on from the hip house to the hip step, you know, and, um, and that brought me deeper into a uh, break beat, jungle break beat, and took me over to uh, the UK, you know, to where I'm a, you know, I'm a legend in you know the jungle break beat scene over there, as well as a 2004 break beat award winner, you know. So uh, let's talk about your. Um, work. Did you have a Panther background, or do I have that mixed up? Well, you know, um, I have a. You know, like I said, you know, my family was into a lot of things you know, back then. You know, what I mean, the Panthers, Nation of Islam. You know, what I'm saying, uh, you know, uh, uh, Negro Church. You know, what I'm saying, you know, uh, you know, but me, I'm a hip stepper, and I chose to want to step hip hop forward because from hip hop to hip stepping, and I chose to have the the, the jungle breakbeat. As, as they think, because any b-boy know, it's always been a conspiracy to control the breakbeat, control the African drum, you know what I mean, to control them, you know, and um, now they have, uh, they're trying to trap us, you know what I mean, which is, you know, nothing, I, I call I call a lot of trap, because I, I love that as well, you know what I mean, I call it modern day blues music, especially come from the South, because if you listen to a lot of these brothers, man, they're singing the blues, man. And if you're in the right setting, like, you know, if you're like in a strip club and, you know, you're right there, you know, and you have your know, Hennessy and, you know, you're not even thinking about the stripper, you know, just the sound system's so beautiful because what I love about the, the cats down here, they also perform in the strip clubs, you know what I mean? Whereas opposed up north, they don't do that, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, they're really testing their music out, you know, playing for, you know, and if the women like it, hey, you know what I'm 
Did you compare? And we got to say something about the train in the background. Like it's, <laughs> we're gonna say something, or you say something. Did I, you, I did researched you just, that. You um, know what I found out. This whole area here um, used to be a great. You know uh, when they brought the trains together here. This train system used to basically ship slaves all throughout the South. And um, after, uh, say, uh, during Reconstruction, you know, a lot of the uh, you know, blacks were homeless here. You know, you saved, you don't go. So a lot of the whites started uh, making fun of us. And, um, you know, uh, the, uh, that's the creation of the hobo. It's from uh, them making fun of us. And then the, uh, the creation of the American clown from, from us. So they'll paint themselves in, you know, white face and all sad and all that, you know, so, yeah. Did you compare the breakbeat to the African drums? What were you just saying about that? Well, you know, you know, me, I'm, I'm, I'm a breakbeat junkie, so, you know, uh, you know, to me, you know, I, the breakbeat is the essence of the, the, the African drum, you know, and um, it's all about the igniting the warrior spirit in you. So that's why, you know, uh, when we said we're, we're putting our left foot forward and we're hip stepping and hip hop, you know what I'm saying? And when you like, you know, you step and don't you get don't you get don't you don't you get 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 them. So uh, our crew, Jungle Sky, big up to my brother DJ Sosa again. We actually, our crew and our sound actually comes from out of the jungle here in South America. You know, I'm, I'm uh, I'm thirsty. Can I take a... Yeah, yeah, break. Yeah, I just need, um, need something uh, to drink because... Uh, between... I'm just leaving everything rolling, but so don't say anything you don't want me to hear later. <laughs> but, yeah, take a break. Oh, you was recording everything we said? Yeah, everything's... While you was going? Yeah, all of this is recorded. I mean, when you left well, earlier? No, 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 no. No, not until we just sat down Ooh, and did the mic check. I'm glad because, yo, we were talking shit about you. I can stop this now. <laughs> <laughs> So what do you want? You gonna want something to drink? Some you gonna get it? Okay. Okay. Yeah, we talked a lot shit about. I'm gonna try to stop this too. I'm sure y'all did. Now. That's rolling. So that was good about the train too. I'll get some B-roll of this train for my. So I'll come back around here before I leave. So uh. Wait, let me do a take two. Take two, TC Islam. So, uh, you know, our, our sound, you know, our, our New York City, you know, our hip step jungle breakbeat sound is a, a official B boy New York to like Brazil, Capoeira to the jungle. And um, we are like, I, I really wanted to educate hip hop, the DJ. And a lot of these whack ass motherfuckers up in this rap shit. Um, I've always wanted to be like the like the cats that like 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 the, like the underrated cat. You know, I, I knew this back like you know in the eighties. I'm like, I don't want to be the top cat. You know what I mean? It's like because the number two cat be rocking the house. I'll give you an example. You ever saw Houdini perform? If you ever quote Houdini performed back in the days, trust me, Houdini, Jalil, Ecstasy, Grandmaster D, or oh, they used to get it in, represent Brooklyn like that, they used to get it in. And, um, you know, cats like my brother Coogee Rap, you know what I'm saying, you know, um, you know Lord Finesse, which excuse me, pardon me, Grandmaster Lord Finesse, my brother. And, um, I never wanted to be the hottest rapper or the, the hottest producer or DJ. I want to always be that, that shadow figure where I'm not even a human being, but I am beyond the essence of hip hop. I'm beyond the spiritual, I'm beyond the physical, I'm beyond the metaphysical because in order for me to, to add hip step to hip hop, I had to let go a lot of things. It's, uh, it's true that be careful what you ask for because your gift can be a blessing and a curse. My curse? I can never fall in love. Find love. 
know, get a lot of women around me for years, you know, so it's been that way. I mean, you feel the energy exuding off me. It's some some people have that, you know, my fan base is females, you know what I mean? Uh, back in the day, uh, growing up as a young teenager and, you know, making music and, and, and seeing things at an early age and going into a young man, I didn't understand that gift. You know what I mean? I broke, I broke a lot of hearts. I'm not going to apologize for the hearts I broke because, hey, they were trying to get on in the music biz. They knew what it was, you know what I'm saying? And back, you know, a lot of women know what it is when, when groupies attracted to power. So I keep it 1,000, you know, and, um, you know. And at the end of the day, you know, um, you know, those that I do love, it's funny for me. Um, a lot of people say, uh, wow, man, when it came to like, you know, hip hop and all that, man, and, the Zulu Nation, man, like, yo, you like, you like that G. No, I'm not a G. Um, I'm a G-O-D. You know, um, I just love, I always love just making the music and working with, with, uh, with artists and pushing myself to do things where, you know, uh, I come from an era where you just fought to be creatively free. And a lot of artists don't understand that until they get involved in labels, have to fight for the name and this and that, you know what I'm saying? Then, you know, you understand. You got, you know, you're going in eight years into the game, you know what I'm saying? You know, by your junior album, you know, you already know the deal, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, that's why I, you know, I commend brothers like my brother, you know, my brother, you know, Jay-Z, you know, which, which, you know, I'm, I'm a fan of successful people. I'm a fan of people that give just to be giving. I'm a fan of uh, DJs. I'm a fan of MCs. I'm a fan of uh, of uh, artists. I'm a fan of people that um, that are uh, not afraid to step out and say, "This is me, and I'm gonna be me." And if you're not gonna accept me, guess what? I'm still gonna step with you, but I'm gonna step as me. And I chose the one on. Get rid of leaders. Pause. Get rid of. Um, Say that sentence again. I decided a long time ago to get rid of leaders. To get rid of religious bullshit. Um, when you survived September 11th, then the following year your house burns down. Then you have to go on the road for the rest of the year because you, you, know, you don't have a house anymore, so you have to go on the road. You, know? you come back, you know, with the winning a 2004 Breakbeat Award album. You know what I'm saying with you know, with my brother Crafty Cuts and A Skills in the UK. Then you move to New Orleans, and then you know you're washed out. You escape Hurricane Katrina by three hours. You lose everything get back to New York um, and a few months uh, down the line in October of 2005 you're detained in Rikers Island for the following five to six months for a crime you didn't even do and you're sitting there lost everything last 30 something years of your life gone what do you do what do you say to a person like that You're 30 something years old, over 35, and, and this is the one place that you avoided all your life, Rikers Island. You know what you do? You go cut your locks, and when you come back to the dorm, that big metal door closes behind you. And you know, uh, it used to make you flinch when you first got in there. But after a few weeks, it won't bother you anymore. You're seeing a dorm full of uh, some of the world's filthiest and innocent men. Then all of a sudden, this cat, you know, he's cool with you. 
He's doing push-ups on chairs. He's like, yo, Zulu, yo, you cut your locks, yo. Yo, you locked up in here with us now. And you look at him and let him look deep into your soul. And you say to him, no, y'all locked up in here with me. And you treat every man like he's worth something. No matter what he is. A crackhead nigga. You know what I'm saying? A tranny nigga. You know what I mean? You know what? A, a G nigga that just got, you know, he just, you know, he just got caught, like, you know, you know, tricking out one night with some chicks, being got caught by police or whatever with a couple of things in his car. Ask the universe, what is all this about? Why am I going through all this? Not one person from the Zulu Nation sent me anything. Ben Bada sent me some books. But when I took my losses, I took them as a king. When they took their losses, I stood up with the hammer and my soldiers and did that thing. You know, there's many levels to this, this Zulu Nation thing. We have the Bambada cult fan club. Then you have the Universal Zulu Nation. Then you have like the Universal Zulu Nation on many different levels. You know, I have my Zulu aliens hip step part of the Zulu Nation where we're all eco green and you know, about break beating and all that, you know what I'm saying? And, and the rawness of the culture, and we, you know, and they weren't coming from. You know, me, I chose to be a shadow man, you know, within you know, the industry and all that, in this little nation. Why? I'm about my money, man. Shit, I'm not getting no cash. You ain't gonna see my ass. And at the end of the day, I don't flash. Um, I've always avoided doing this, being on camera. But, you know, right is right. Wrong is wrong. And, uh, it took a whole year for people around me to convince me to do this documentary with you. And this is closure for me. And um, I want to, um, can we go back for just a second? I want to get the 5% nation. See, because a lot of the the reason why I'm asking this is um, a lot of those Bronx River people, it seems like, didn't have any kind of um, foundational knowledge. Uh, so, hold on. So, 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 I'm asking you about these different influences that you had, yeah. which would explain your thinking, you know, is different. So, I just wanted to... Let's talk about your uh, the five percent nation, and you because you said you were from the nation of gods and earth, and I'm gonna take that back towards when we were talking about that part. So let's do a little piece on the five percent nation, and if they ever, if there ever was what I heard beef between these two groups, because um, the Zulu nation wanted to take the lessons and kind of flip them and use it for Africa well, and this that. Well, so go ahead. Now, now you understand why. <clears throat> why, why, why brothers like me, you know, brother King, you know, uh, King Righteous, why we chose to step up and help the Zulu Nation, you know, because you know, um, there was never no beef between us in the Zulu Nation at all, never ever at all. It's just that you know, one thing that Bambada and the Zulu Nation has always been good at. Well, not even the Zulu Nation. Let me just exclude them because my, my thing is with, with Bambada. You know what I mean? So the universe of Zulu Nation is something separate from Bambada because Bambada is always taking things and, and added on to things. He's never, he's never really, uh, you, you've never really heard him drop anything relevant that comes from him. It's a scripted act. It's a script. You know what I mean? Uh, that's why they needed me to step up. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, you can tell right now uh, through my ways and actions, how do you have to even talk about what I've done, you know, the, the proof is there, it's videotapes there, so people can just dig. But um, 
there was always like, you know, this little hateration, you know what I mean? Where it's like a lot of the Zulu cats never even understood why they was even hating on the nation of gods and earth. And at the end of the day, it's like, I'm there to like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Yo, yo, keep the peace. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, no disrespect to the to the Zulu nation. The nation of gods and earths are the original hip hop nation. You know, without us, man, this wouldn't have went nowhere. You know what I'm saying? So me, why I embrace the Zulu nation because at the end of the day, I, I, I like I like I like the streets at the time. I had knowledge of self. You know, the nation of gods and earth, my one twenty became my father in the streets. Real talk. And I applied it to my life. So that's why I don't got to manifest nothing. You better watch my, you better check my resume. I'd rather show and prove through my ways and actions. And I have done that. So the hip step is, is actually a testimony of 360 degrees of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. You know what I mean? You know, um, you know, uh, what, what man doesn't, doesn't love women? You know what I mean? Uh, you know, it's, you know, I, I never could understand, like, back in the 90s why... My cats will always like accuse me of like like oh yo yo TC sleep with all the queens no all the queens are trying to sleep with me because y'all broke look at me I'm dropping bombs dude I'm an entertainer dude I got money dude you're broke you sleeping on me and your man's couch walking around with your Zulu bees thinking like you come on son you living off our juice I'm traveling the world I'm charming. Of course you, the queens are going to want to be with me. How you think half of them came up in the nation anyway? Because we were no three-fourths. We, we come from, from street. So all, that, all that, that queen and all that stuff, no, we had hospitality queens back in the days. The way you got in, the, it got, it got in you got fucked in. Like any other gang, we stopped playing. I had to create the smoke and mirrors in the 90s of what we were, because we was banging until 96. Come on. That's why I went deep in the jungle. That's why I resigned as the spokesman back then because I was on the, they asked me to be on the council. I'm like, that's, that's bias, man. I'm the international spokesman, so I cannot be on the world council because when I speak, I can swear a decision any way I want to. Then I get, I get signed in 95. Zulu Nation cast never, never bought my records. Uh, there's a large side of the aliens, uh, you know, the Zulu aliens in, uh, all my, my hip steppers, you know what I'm saying, that, that's, that's part of the Zulu nation that they always shunned. They crucified my name out their mouth. Tell, tell us what hip step, what uh, the hip step movement is. The hip step movement is simple. It's all about you and what you choose to do with the hip step inside of you. I chose to create a movement that actually brings you to yourself. It's all about you and what you choose to do with the hip step inside of you. We are the world's growing eco economics, social awareness, breakbeat, hip hop, multicultural, multi race movement. So, what I did, I applied the same principles that I applied to the Zulu Nation and turned around and started the Zulu, uh, the Zulu aliens. And then from there with Brother Dollar, when we was basically at war with like, you know, a lot of cats in, the, you know, uh, in New York at the time of the 90s. You know, I brought back something called the, uh, the elite. They wanted to call it the Gestapo's and all that. I said, no, the Gestapo name shouldn't even be mentioned at all. It's a name we don't mention in hip hop. Okay, let's take that back. You said um, something. You the said Gestapo, Gestapo name is, yeah. is a name that we don't mention in hip hop. So basically, uh, I called it the elite. I figured out that in order to kill a cancer in the street, you need another cancer to kill it. If we, we, we you know, while we're going in a positive direction, these cats is coming at us like negatively in the street like that. Okay, I need a berserker chapter that will just, it doesn't matter. It's just ugly. And we did that. And it brought a lot of peace. And uh, a lot of, the, a lot of, um, division too. See, people don't understand, you know, you know, street power, you know, organizational street power. And, um, I overstand it to a degree to where, um, 
I don't need it. You know, um, I'd rather use my God-given talent, you know what I'm saying, to take me around the world and it has. But there's that always that side of you that you don't realize what has happened to you. I'm an ex-banger. I'm an ex-gangbanger. I'm an ex I'm, a, I'm an ex-gang leader as far as the United States uh, uh, government's concerned. But um, I'm, a, I'm one of those ex-gang leaders that uh, basically uh, got together with uh, a police chief in New Haven, Connecticut back in the, you know, uh, the late 90s, uh, in the early 90s, and, um, and uh, Nick Pastor, and uh, brought a lot of peace. But uh, even to the treaty of the five families in New York City, you know what I'm saying, we helped secure that as well. Myself, DJ Power, for the righteous, you know, um, I was the one that was uh, dropping the information on the New World Order, you know, hip hop in the '90s, and I kept telling them, "Yo, man, man, being followed, man, yo, yo, da da da, yo, yo, we gotta do this, we gotta do that." And to this day, I still feel like I opened up a Pandora's box, you know, because I've seen so many of my people go into the Illuminati. Which is nothing wrong with the Illuminati. Any of us that have signed a contract in the music industry, the entertainment industry, is a member of Illuminati. You know, I'm a member of Illuminati. You know, uh, everyone is. But see, if you choose to want to be illuminated, just illuminated. You know what I'm saying? It's easy to be just illuminated. Get, there, get up there on stage, monkey. We're gonna put some lights on you, some glitter, and illuminate you. Okay, now you get off stage, where your money at? You know what I mean? Uh, there's no shortcut to, to, to the top. And I never want that shit. I don't give two shits about the industry. I've carved a lane called Hipstep. H-I-P-S-T-E-P. That's the giant, the style. Then it's H-I-P-S-T-E-P, which is the movement and the mind state. H, honor, I, integrity, P, purpose, S, truth, I mean, excuse me, spirit, T, truth, E, enterprise, P, promise. You think? Seven letters. You can't stop destiny. And if it's destiny or I'm ordained to bring something to the culture. I can't take that for myself. I have other people that helped me start this hip step, you know? And, and I have to let their story be told. And I have to tell their story. So in order to tell this story, I got to get this story out the way. You know, um, since the star interview... Let's talk about... Let's talk about... Um, why you decided to come forward because you came forward on um, Poppy's behalf and that's what brought you on Star's show and how did how did that come about did you call up Star was Star calling you like let's talk about Star's going to be in the film too so I just wanted to give some background well Star Star got Star contacted me and, and uh, what people fail to realize is that you know I, I, Star's my man like like, I've known Star for, like, many years, you know what I mean? So, you know, you sit back and you, you say to the, you say, are these cats really serious? Like, are you guys going to keep on doing this bullshit? Now, me, since, like, maybe uh, the early 2000s, something was shifting. You know what I mean? And I and I sat back and watched it. I'm like, is these motherfuckers actually gonna try to turn this shit into a church? I didn't want to get no ID card. The ID card they gave me, they sent it to me because he needed someone like me. Well, you know, you all the leaders, you know, you know, we ministers now. Ministers of what? Excuse me. Truthfully, you know, um, when you can take your name being crucified out of motherfuckers' mouths, 
that claim to be your brother. You know what I'm saying? Your sister. Yeah, where, where, where? Just because, you know, uh, just because I don't walk around my Africa band by the starter kit on? I'm greater than that, dude. You know what I'm saying? You dig? So, so when I heard, like, I'm like, I'm like, hold up. No, they're not calling Star and Poppy police informants. And, 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 and the government's coming at me. After what? What they come? What they come after y'all for? What? Some Zulu merchandise? What they going to stop the anniversary? I don't give a frick. Before the FBI message y'all, yo, excuse me, oh, y'all, they owe me some money first. Y'all must get in line. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm like, hold up, nah, 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 man. This, that's that's my brother Poppy, man, and I know he telling the truth. Why? Because. People that called for that meeting that was at that secret meeting with Poppy, they told me that he had broke down crying. Then two, let's get down to shit that nobody even knows that you're going to be the first one to get on camera right now. 2006. No, it was 2006. Yeah, about 2006. I confiscated a list from our brother Al Karim, you know, saying who's another another brother, which basically he's a great brother. You know, so we have you know, a lot of homosexual brothers in the nation. And he's my brother, you know what I'm saying? That's my dude. And he felt comfortable enough to share his list of who he slept with in the Zulu Nation. I had to confiscate that list. Because when I saw the names on that list, I'm like, this could be de detrimental to the Zulu Nation. I gave it to Tafik and Yoda. 